Well, a popular destination for summer treats is causing parking nightmares for neighbors. People living right near the Lincoln restaurant tell us customers are causing problems by parking illegally on the street, and we caught one confrontation on camera. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen has the latest details. Eyewitness News learned about a major parking problem in Lincoln. Our cameras rolled up Thursday to check it out, and immediately it was clear tension is boiling over. I live here. You're parked in the wrong spot. The sign's right there. Parking wars are heating up right in front of Mike Alves' home on Boulevard Avenue in Lincoln. Just flip me off. <laughs> Alves tells us dozens of cars park illegally on his street every night, including this week. He says the extra traffic is caused by customers of the Lincoln Creamery and Burger Boys restaurant. Hey, but this is ridiculous. Every night it's, it's, it's worse and worse. We saw it firsthand. Eyewitness news cameras were rolling as a Lincoln police officer wrote a ticket for this illegal parker. It's kind of ridiculous. It's a residential area. I don't see what it hurts to park here. Do you? I mean, I'm not obstructing any fire hazards or anything like that. But. We also caught cars blocking a handicap spot and turning around in a private driveway. They don't live on the street. You know what I'm saying? If you don't live on the street, you don't care. The owner of the Lincoln Creamery hasn't commented despite multiple attempts to get his side of the story. Town Councilor John Flynn tells us town officials are working on a solution, but he says it won't be easy. For restaurants, local laws mandate one parking spot for every four seats, but we've learned there's no parking ordinance for walk-up establishments like the Lincoln Creamery. Oh, I don't know how much more we can do, you know. Or how much more can be done. Yeah. Residents have also complained that customers are leaving trash behind on their lawn as they're eating ice cream, and they're concerned that their home values are dropping. In the newsroom, Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.